Expiratory Threshold. The expiratory threshold setting determines the percent of peak flow at which pressure support breaths will cycle to exhalation. Since the rate of flow decay during pressure support breaths is influenced by the patient's pulmonary time constant, the patient's pulmonary time constant will impact breath cycling off timing. Many conventional pressure support systems default to an expiratory threshold setting of 25%. It is important to remember that when designing pressure support, there was no physiological reason for choosing a 25% cycling off threshold. The old promise that this magic 25% number would allow patients to have freedom or good control over the machine inspiratory time is not true. An ideal expiratory threshold setting allows pressure support breaths to cycle off simultaneously with the patient's transition from inspiration to exhalation. Late or early cycling off can result in dyssynchrony. Expiratory threshold, late cycling off. When we set the expiratory threshold too low, this causes the breath to be a little bit longer than the inspiratory time of the patient. The patient may actually try and exhale at that point, recruiting uh, some muscles to force exhalation and cause dyssynchrony with the ventilator. Late cycling off of pressure support breaths can cause the patient to experience hyperinflation for one breath cycle and then miss triggering the next breath. When this happens, you may notice that tidal volume oscillates up and down while the monitor breath rate is unexpectedly low since the ventilator is not counting every patient effort. Late cycling off is often seen in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. Patients with obstructive disease generally have long time constants and this results in a, a slower flow decay from the peak inspiratory flow to the expiratory threshold. This in turn may result in them actually wanting to exhale at 50% of the peak inspiratory flow but the machine may be set at 25% so the patient may actually try and exhale at that point recruiting uh, some muscles to force exhalation and cause dyssynchrony with the ventilator. Besides the particular situations of COPD patients, High levels of pressure support and slow rise time adjustments are conditions that usually make the threshold of 25% inappropriate. Although a 25% expiratory threshold can result in late cycling off for many patients, we cannot simply change it to a higher percentage all the time because a 25% threshold can result in early cycling off for other patients. Expiratory threshold, early cycling off. Setting a too high expiratory threshold can cause problems because you finish the ventilator assistance before the end of the patient neuro inspiratory time. And usually this causes double trigger. It means that the inspiratory time prolongs to the time that the patient can trigger a new breath and he can get overinflated. This usually causes a lot of distress and dyssynchrony. In patients with restrictive disease, they have a short time constant and what that results in is a rapid um, flow decay to, uh, which will result in early cycling off of the breath to exhalation when the patient is, may not be ready for that and that will lead to, like I said, early cycling off and dyssynchrony issues. Early cycling off can also happen in a patient previously in perfect synchrony but in which then the physician sets a faster slope rise. This is going to cause a higher peak flow and then a shorter time to achieving the expiratory threshold. Newport Medical's Intelligent Control System Solution. As we've seen, clinicians may find themselves trapped in an endless cycle of slope rise and expiratory threshold settings changes in order to provide optimal support for their patients while avoiding dyssynchrony. I believe that pressure support can be used more broadly without fears about dyssynchrony if a more physiological approach to the problem of termination criteria is applied. The unloading of inspiration can be achieved with fewer drawbacks and lower risks of overinflation. After extensive research into the breathing patterns of ventilated patients, Newport Medical has taken advantage of modern microprocessor technology to develop algorithms that optimize both the slope rise and the expiratory threshold settings automatically. 
This allows the ventilator to seem almost invisible to the patient by improving comfort and synchrony. Automatic Slope Rise Newport Medical's automatic slope rise adjusts the flow delivery profile, breath by breath, in order to achieve a rapid pressure rise. By automating slope rise, we can simplify the job of the clinician at the bedside, while allowing patients to benefit from a lower work of breathing and an improved flow delivery, in spite of changing efforts or changing lung mechanics. Flex Cycle – Automatic Expiratory Threshold Flex Cycle is Newport Medical's automated system for managing the expiratory threshold setting. It is the only system to use a patented feedback control algorithm to actively manage cycling off timing, breath by breath. This allows Newport ventilators to maintain good patient ventilator synchrony even as the slope rise setting, the patient's inspiratory demand, and the patient's lung dynamics change. Many people involved and participated in the development of the flex cycle. We had Dr. Yamada from Tokyo University Hospital, who is a genius in mathematics. We had Dr. Marcelo Amato from Brazil, who is a genius in clinic science. And we had a group of engineers and clinicians working on that. At the end, we come out with, with a system that only used two parameters for control. We use the respiratory time constant to define a range of the expiratory threshold. And then based on this range, we use the measured slope of the pressure waveform at the end of inspiration to fine tune and pick up an actual value of the expiratory threshold within this range. Through various bench tests and uh, clinical trials, we found that flex cycle not only can improve the patient ventilator synchrony, but also reduce the time involvement of the clinicians who otherwise would need to stay at the bedside to adjust the ventilator settings. Flex cycle allows us to return the simplicity to pressure support. Newport's intelligent control system, where automatic slope rise and flex cycle work in harmony to achieve the optimal balance between support and synchrony during pressure support ventilation. It's a pioneering improvement in ventilation management found only on Newport ventilators.